Here we are looking at the upper torso of the Sasha puppet. In this video I'm working on the chest assembly, the, the chest part that holds the back joint that's on the bottom of the image and the shoulder joints and the neck joints on the top of the image. So I'm working on the, the center thing. Here's a piece of 3 16 inch stainless, it's 17 4 stainless. I ground it by hand to get those 45 degree angles and now I'm drilling out holes to receive the shoulder joints. Here's a piece of brass that I drilled a 3 16 inch hole in it. I put in that little piece of steel that from the previous shot and now I'm drilling through both the steel and the brass for a pin that will hold the, uh, the center line of the puppet, the neck and the back. I put a pin in that, in that hole that I just drilled to hold the brass and the steel together. Now I'm drilling for the hole that will hold the pin that will handle the neck joint. Drilling for an eighth inch hole for an eighth inch pin. It's a little bit off center of the center line because of the way the armature fits in the mold. Drilling now for the rig point. This puppet has chest, front, and rear rig points made of uh, 1032 thread, so I'm drilling, I'm spotting and drilling to prepare for the threads on this chest assembly. Here is a scale printout of the Sasha puppet. Here's the chest assembly to scale, so I can put it on this scale drawing and make sure that it's fitting in there the way I want it to fit. Make sure that the center line of the back goes down the center line of the, the waist and that the, chest, the, the neck goes up to where the neck is, making sure that this is centered in both directions. Getting ready to braise these parts together. The brass is the central portion of the chest assembly. Put in a little bit of flux, a little bit of solder on that pin. That pin goes down and handles the back joint. Just put some solder in that joint. That joint handles the, it's the lower neck joint. Heating this up with map gas to, the map gas is at 3700 degrees need to get the brass hot enough to allow the solder to melt at its 1200 degree melting point. The parts never glow like this in real life. The camera just makes them look that way. They, they glow red hot, but they don't glow white hot like this. After the heat, you need to let it cool down enough to make sure that it's cool enough to put into water. Getting ready to put on the ball that handles the back joint. Had to put on a sleeve, which is a 3 three sixteenths of an inch uh, pin that's been drilled with a 125 thousandths hole. The, uh, the way I assembled the previous parts, it's like a 300 thousandths piece of brass and then 187 thousandths uh, the, the sideways steel and then the 125 that's the vertical but I need to get back out to 187 for the ball that goes on this pin here by doing it in stair steps I feel that it's a stronger construction back on the scale drawing making sure that everything is looking like it's going to work if there are any adjustments that need to be made, now is the time to do it before we go any further. Okay, getting ready to braise in the balls that handle the lower back joints. Off camera, I made those little pins and I just inserted them into this chest assembly. Now heating it up, applying some braise to hold those pins in place. Don't want any of that stuff coming loose. Back on the vise, I cut that pin to the right length, putting uh, 
getting ready to braise the ball that handles the back joint. A couple little bits of solder, heating it up. It's important to get the lengths of those pins correct. There isn't a lot of room for adjustment in this puppet. If I don't get those the right length, then the, the puppet's not going to move right when it gets in the mold. Waiting for it to cool down, put it in some water. I think at this point, the part is done. Uh, it needs to be cleaned up on the steel brush, get rid of all that fire scale. Form follows function. Uh, I suppose if wishes were fishes, we would just 3D print this part out of metal, make sure those three balls got in the right spot, or uh, use a fancy 3D uh, computer controlled mill to mill these things out, but I don't have those tools, so this works. Make this chest assembly get all of those get all of those balls in the right spot so that all of the joints will be in the right spot so that the puppet moves the right way so that we can get a good performance on camera.